Hey, my name is Mark from Tub Talk Reviews, and today we're gonna to be looking at the Intex Simple Spa Inflatable Hot Tub. We're gonna go over the setup of this hot tub, some of the qualities, and some of the things I loved and did not love about it. Let's get into it. Now, before you get too far into this review, I do wanna let you know that we are using affiliate links, and if you use those links, we may earn a commission. With that said, we keep everything as honest as possible because at the end of the day, we want you to have the best experience with your hot tub. Additionally, we want you to come back to our channel for tub-related content. So let's get into the setup. That's actually one thing I really liked about this hot tub, especially compared to some other inflatable hot tubs that we've looked at. This hot tub had a very detailed instruction manual that made it really easy to set up. In addition, they had a QR code where you could go to their website and check out some videos where they walked you through the process. But we're gonna go ahead and do that here as well. Step one, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have enough room to set up your hot tub. Additionally, your hot tub's gonna come with a mat that you can put the Intex hot tub on top of. This is gonna help so the ground below it doesn't get ruined and it just overall helps protect your hot tub and the ground beneath it. This is a really nice addition that other brands do not include and Intex does, so something that's just like a little bonus. When setting up the hot tub, you'll wanna account for that the hot tub is 77 inches wide, as well as this control unit here. I'd say this is about another 18 inches that you need to add on to that to make sure that you're gonna have the right space to be able to fit this hot tub in the desired area that you wanna install it. Another thing you wanna make sure is that this is a reliable area for drainage and that it's gonna easily flow down and not back into your hot tub after you let the water go. The next step is gonna be to blow up your hot tub. Unscrew the air valve cap on the tub to reveal the stem in the up position for inflation. Insert the other end of the inflation hose into the valve and turn it to the right to lock it. Now press the power button on the control panel to turn it on. After you've got everything inserted, make sure that you have your hot tub plugged in, and then you're gonna press the bubble button to inflate the tub wall. This should take about eight to 10 minutes, and the tub should feel relatively firm. Now I do wanna say this hot tub does not get as firm as some of the other hot tubs we've tried out. This is one of the downfalls of this tub. Now while you're blowing it up, you might find that this thing isn't getting as full as you want it to be. That was the case with me. I kept going back to it, I thought there was something wrong, but later I looked in the instructions and it said that Intex has purposely actually included a mechanism that pushes air back out once it is too full. So in my case, I didn't think it was full enough I thought it was still a little squishy when I would sit on it or touch it, but at the end of the day, you're not really supposed to sit on these things anyways. So overall, I don't think it's full enough. I wish it was a bit firmer, but Intex is doing this to help protect the hot tub. Bonus tip, after this thing is blown up, I really like that this hot tub has this outer shell right here. It protects it. It's just a nice addition, a nice quality. I made the mistake of starting to fill up my hot tub before I made sure that this thing was lined up. So you wanna make sure that the holes down here for the drainage as well as for your pumps are all lined up before you start filling up your tub or else you're gonna have hell to pay later on. Now that your hot tub is blown up, let's inflate the spot cover. How you're gonna do this is you're gonna wanna lay it down on the ground, insert the inflatable part, plug it in, blow it up. Once it's firm to the touch, you're ready to go. So once you got your hot tub filled up with air, you're ready to install the control unit. To set up your control unit, you're gonna to wanna to line up all the hoses with all the latches, and then you're gonna hand tighten those. Do not use a tool, just use your hands. These should be relatively easy to tighten and get secure. Once you've got the control unit attached to your hot tub, you're gonna go ahead and insert the filter cartridges on the inside of the hot tub into those placements. Now we're ready to fill up your tub. If you need to move your hot tub for any reason, now is the time to do it. Before you fill it up, make sure that all your drain caps are sealed and ready to go, then insert the hose and let that thing fill. Filling up the hot tub should take around 30 to 40 minutes. You're gonna wanna fill it up to either the minimum or maximum fill line. Overall, this thing's gonna hold about 210 gallons. Once your hot tub is filled up, you can go ahead and connect your control unit back into your outlet and start heating this thing up. How to do that is you're gonna wanna hit the flame button and then you're gonna use the arrows to go ahead and set this thing to your desired temperature. Additionally, you can change the settings between Celsius and Fahrenheit. The heating range for this hot tub is from 68 degrees Fahrenheit to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, to heat this thing up to 104 is gonna take anywhere between 12 to 24 hours. I think for us, it took about 14 hours for us to get it fully heated up. So expect to wait at least that long. Now let's go ahead and talk about the buttons on the control panel. So you have the power button, which turns it on, the heat button, which we talked about, so you can set your temperature using the arrows here, and then the Celsius and Fahrenheit button to switch between the two desired temperatures. In addition to this, we also have the filter button, which I don't know what that does. 
So you have the bubble button here, which you use to fill up your hot tub, but once you have it connected, this is also what is used to function your jets. Next, there's a water filter button that turns the pump on and off to filter the water. When the heating system is turned on, this will automatically start filtering the water and it will turn green on the icon when activated. Next, the LED display will also tell you the current temperature of the water. Now, one serious con about this hot tub is this LED display is almost impossible to read in daylight. Like I was unable to see it. In fact, you'll see here that some of the, the footage we shot was at night so you could actually see what the display was saying. All right, now let's talk about some of the qualities of the Intex Simple Spa. This thing has a hundred soothing jets that can give you a gentle massage. I actually really enjoyed these when we were sitting in here. It felt quite nice. This was even better than some of the other hot tubs that we've tried. The hot tub provides year round relaxation with the 68 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. You can use it on hot summer days on a cooler temperature or crank it up to 104 on those winter nights or even cool summer nights and just get that warm relaxing experience that you expect from a hot tub like this. Additionally, this hot tub says that it can comfortably fit up to four people though we were able to fit three, and even then I'd say it was just a little bit squished, not too bad. Overall, I wouldn't go more than three full grown adults in this thing. The Intex has an insulated cover, so you can make sure that your water is staying hot, as well as you're keeping critters out. Also, it comes with two filter cartridges. I like that this hot tub has two filters as it just helps the longevity of the water filtration system and the water cleanliness, and you can really tell the difference here. The Intex Simple Spa comes with most of the necessary parts and accessories for setup, including an inflatable hot tub cover, filter, pump, control panel, and repair patch kit, and even came with pH balancers. And while this hot tub does come with a lot of these extra features, you will need to purchase your chemicals like bromine, chlorine, etc. So let's go ahead and talk about what it feels like. As I talked about in the beginning, the side of the hot tub is not super supportive, and the bottom is really quite squishy. It kind of feels like a kiddie pool. And that's not saying that's a bad thing, that's just how it feels. And overall, it did support me quite well, and I think it's gonna support most people quite well. And once you get those jets going and the water flowing, and it, it really is just a kind of really nice relaxing experience. This isn't an uncomfortable hot tub. It's just not as comfortable as maybe a traditional hot tub or even some other inflatable hot tubs. But overall, this is doing the job and getting it done and I like it. And as these edges are not very supportive, it's not good for getting in and out of the hot tub. So don't straddle this thing or sit on it as you're getting in or even sit on the side of it with just your legs in. It's not gonna be good for that. But if you're just sitting in the hot tub, leaning against this thing, it's gonna do just fine. And you're gonna be very comfortable and very relaxed. Overall, regarding the feel, this thing feels like an inflatable hot tub. It's nice, it's maybe not well supported, but overall you lean back on it and it's relaxing and those bubbles are gonna get going and you're gonna have a good time. As far as getting that hot tub feel, it achieves it. It sure is relaxing and the heat is really nice. The price for this hot tub is gonna vary depending on the vendor. Typically it's gonna be around 450 to $700. From Amazon, it was $500 at the time that we made this video. So I need to correct myself because I just checked the price right before posting this video and it is actually listed at $400 on Amazon. You can check the link below to see that price and see this product. Shipping for this product is gonna vary depending on the vendor that you buy it from, but most places can get it to you within two days. I think we got it within one. Another thing to consider is that most places are gonna give you 30 days to return this product. But again, that may vary. So who do we think will love this hot tub? Those looking for an affordable and easy to set up hot tub with the capacity for about three adults. Secondly, people seeking a compact and portable hot tub option for their outdoor space. It has a quick setup and takedown process. Let's talk about the pros and cons of the Intex Simple Spa. The first thing that I really liked about this is that it came with a lot of extra accessories, like this ball to put your chemicals in, or like the pH balancers, or the extra filters, or the repair kit. There's so many extras that have you covered, and I really like that. Additionally, I really like that this has this outside shell to help protect the hot tub from the elements. Uh, it really just makes it look cleaner, makes it look a lot nicer. Lastly, another thing that I really liked about this hot tub was the overall setup process compared to some other hot tubs that we've looked at. This one was quite simple. It had the manual, which was easy to read and was detailed, and it also had videos to help guide us through the process. The only problem that I had with the setup, and we'll hit that more in the cons, is that it didn't pump up enough. Now into the cons. It didn't pump up enough. 
this hot tub did not inflate as much as I would like it to. But Intex says this is where it's supposed to be. But it'd be nice to have a hot tub that you can sit on or that you can straddle as you're getting in and out. But Intex says don't sit on this. We've had other inflatable hot tubs that aren't quite this stingy on that rule and that are built to be able to handle that extra weight on the side. So that's something that I wish Intex would have done with this inflatable hot tub that they didn't. Secondly, the jets on this hot tub were not quite as bubbly as I would have liked them to be. Now, I did know that when I got this, it did not have all the jets that some of the other models we've looked at have, but overall, I do wish it for the money that it came with a little bit more jets than it had. And my last con, there are no cup holders on the control unit. We've had others that have cup holders. It's a simple addition. I wish Intex would have included it. And that is it for the Intex Simple Spa Hot Tub. I hope I've answered all your questions. Overall, this is a pretty average inflatable hot tub, but like all inflatable hot tubs, what I love about them is they are so worth the price. It's much better than spending so much money for a full hot tub when you can get one for literally thousands of dollars less. The Intex Simple Spa does the job. Most people are gonna find it quite comforting and enjoyable. And if you go ahead and buy this product, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you again for watching this video. If you liked it, remember to like and subscribe. And that's it, have a good day.